Well, happy Saturday people, and this one is my own vehicle, and we're going to be doing a service on it. And it is a 2018 BMW X2, and it is a covered 61,000 miles, and it is due, well, in fact, it's early for a bit of a service, and we're going to be using man filters. Right, that is enough of that, let's get down to business. Now, the first thing I'm going to be doing is putting an engine flush in it, and this is the launch advanced engine flush and the reason why I'm going to be doing this now is because I'm going to be starting this engine up even though it is nice and warm I'm going to let this circulate for 10 minutes while I'm doing all my other pre-checks right now we're in the vehicle we're going to get it started and while that's circulating for 10 minutes or so what we're going to be doing is going around all the interior making sure that our seat belts are working correctly it should be because it is my own car but just because it's my own car it doesn't mean that I haven't got to check it. Make sure that we've got no warning lights on the dashboard and all our instrumentation is working wash wipes. Now I know I've got a dirty great big crack in the wood screen but that is getting replaced. Now we're back outside the vehicle what we're going to be doing is go around all the vehicle and making sure that everything is nice and secure nothing's going to fall off and all of the lights are working. We can make our way round the vehicle now making sure that all the doors are opening and closing as they should and even checking all the rear lights as well now after I've done all my uh, pre-checks and stuff like that um, this car isn't due for the service for another 1600 miles now I've got a really really busy schedule coming up I'm going on holiday at the end of the month and then I come back to work for a week then I'm going to Germany for four days, which I'm going to be making some content on, which is going to be absolutely epic over an auto mechanic there, Frank, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going with launch, so that's going to be good. There's going to be lots of new diag equipment coming in, I think. Now, as you can see, I've got the vehicle up in the air. Let me put my little trolley with my camera on it. Now, what we're going to do is go around all four corners of the wheel, uh, all four corners of the car, get the wheels, shake them side to side, up and down, and make sure that we've got no play in the suspension or steering. Just going to pull the wheel, full lock over, and then we're going to go around the tread depth, make sure that we've got no cuts, slits, punctures, and the tyres are in good condition. Now I haven't long put two new tyres on the front of this vehicle. And another thing, I don't need to take the wheels off because I haven't long, let me flip this camera around, I haven't long had the wheels off to paint the calipers on it so I know that everything behind there is good. Now for those that say oh you're always going about Borg and Beck, brake pads and stuff, fucking Ben, complete bane of my life that grinder is, but anyway as I was saying I know I go on about Borg and Beck and I say oh that I use them on my own car and a lot of people think well you don't you're just saying that so look we've got Borg and Beck rear pads Borg and Beck front pads now on my channel I only show stuff that I physically use myself because there's a lot of people out there that get stuff given to them and whatever they get given, it's like, oh yeah, this is the best in the whole wide world. Chance are they probably never used it. But I physically have used all the Borg and Beck stuff for many, many, many years. And no, I am not sponsored by them. So please don't think that I am. I just like their products. Now, I can't remember whether I did a video replace, replacing the rear brake pads on this or not. Um, I know I did a video doing the brake fluid service because that was due and I did that not long ago there is a video on my YouTube somewhere with it but all the brakes they are in a really good condition and we're going to go around the back now and give it a shake up and down and check the track tire tread depth make sure that everything is perfect now as you can see I've got this vehicle fully raised now on these BMWs they do put little inspection covers so you can get to the sump plug and also the oil filter, the oil filters here and the sun plugs there. But I like to take these covers off and have a look at all the piping work and stuff like that. So let's put it into a time lapse, time lapse 
and get all these millions and gazillions of screws out. Now with that under tray now off, uh, we can get a 17 mil on a sun plug. We can drain the oil, make sure that you've got your lovely little receptacle. Oh, it's over my hands, over my hands. Right, now while that's draining out, I'm going to go work my way around the vehicle, checking all the suspension. Let me get me, like, marvel. I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around and check all the suspension, steering components and the brake hoses from underneath. Work my way around the vehicle and make sure that there's nothing hanging off. And the same applies to all the rear suspension. Make sure that everything is in good working condition. We've got nothing hanging off. And also the exhaust system is in good condition as well. And work our way back around to the passenger front and finish off here. Well, that is now the old oil filter out. It's as black as coal. Um, let's move round to the new one. Now the oil filter housing itself has got a little bung in the bottom that you take out that drains the oil filter out, uh, oil like the oil filter housing. And the new MAM filter, it does come with a new bung and a copper sealant washer for the sun plug. Let's go ahead and get this filter now. Back in this engine. And there we have it, just with a little bit of magic now that new oil filter is in and everything's talked up to spec with a new copper washer on the sun plug, talked up, and I've also marked it as well. Now think back to when I took the um, belly pan off. If I hadn't taken it off, I wouldn't have noticed that this little bit of an oil leak here off this intercooler pipe. Now I'm going to address that soon, I'm going to get one, get one priced up and get one ordered. It might just need a new clip, but I'm going to replace the pipe just because I can. Um, right, let's move on to the fuel filter housing. The fuel filter housing, the fuel filter, which is located underneath all these more millions and gazillions of screws. Right, well, after a little few more trims and a lot more screws removed, we've now got access to the fuel filter. Um, if you can see here, I changed it on the 4th of the 2nd, 2023, so it is well over 12 months old. Um, but yeah, there we go. There's a brand new one fitted, dated, and I've also signed it as well. Right, let's put all these trims back together. Right, well, I'm pretty much finished underneath now, but before we drop the vehicle back down so we can top all the fluids up, we're just going to go around it and check tyre pressures. Right, well, as you can see, we've got the vehicle back down to working high, so we're going to chuck some common oil in it. This does take 5.5 litres. So get the first gallon in and then put half a litre uh, yeah, half a litre in. Right, well with that oil now topped up, uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it a big start, Rooney. Now it may take a little while or it might go straight away because we've had the fuel filter off. Now there is a bleeding procedure that you can do, but it needs more than 20 litres, and of course. Shock. Because I've in the uh, because I'm in the car got no fuel in it so we're going to give it a start and see what happens there we go our car now is started we're going to leave it ticking over for a few seconds and we're going to switch it off and jump onto the tab and reset all the service with me car now switched off we're going to reset the engine oil which is f1 i'm going to send that straight up to 100 percent when it sorts itself out takes a while, not going to lie. Come on. There we go, we are now at 100%. Uh, the brake fluid I did 12 months ago, so we're okay on that one. Vehicle checks, 50%. And the statutory vehicle inspection, well, the MOT is due in November. Let's go back now and enter the service history into the iDrive. Now to enter all the information into the iDrive you have to put all the information that you've done, put all the components that you fitted, engine oil, air filter, fuel filter, bottom filter, you have to put the mileage, enter it into kilometres on the scanner and then it'll convert it through to a mile. I don't know why it does that, I might need to send the uh, launch an email and just say change it. Uh, obviously we're an independent dealer and then we just simply 
on a right service record and that now is done now I have been asked quite a few times with these launch uh, when it says there service counter times you need to put like say number one is going to be your first one and so on so we're on number seven which is right at the top now as you can see this car's got an extensive history with it we click on it now engine oil air cleaner fuel filter and pollen job is a good one now let's come back outside the vehicle and while i'm waiting for the oil level to settle after i've updated the eye drive and stuff i want to come around get the air filter out and give it a good hoover out like that hoover is probably the best one we've ever bought it was like 50 quid off mpd it's brilliant um look at the state of the air filter again fourth of the second 23 tell me you live in like a farming village got hay everywhere all right let's get the brand new one fitted make sure you're right on it with your lovely little battling garage pen Ian you're probably watching <laughs> but yeah all right let's get this in well I have now completely finished underneath that bonnet brake fluid is okay the strength of the antifreeze is okay top of the screen wash up the engine oil is absolutely perfect we can close the bonnet push the car back now and change that cabin filter which is a right fiddly little job down by the pedals and this pollen filter is tucked right up here on the driver's side footwell you have to take this little plastic cover off and the new filters are in there I don't know whether you can see the date on them but they do like tear each other one on top of each other right let's put all this back together there's the old ones they're a bit minging to be honest we have now got one job left to do and that is go around all the door locks and all the hinges and make sure that you grease them all whatever you do do not use that white grease because it is absolutely horrific all i use you know what i'm going to say a little bit of launch power uh, power loop plus it's insane stuff whatever you spray it that's where it stays and just like that that vehicle is now serviced I'm going to wash my hands, put my tools away, uh, I'm going to have a little bit of a brush up of my ramp ready for Monday morning and I'm going to get off home I think. Oh and obviously put some fuel in it for the missus for next week. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video and I, ho I hope you all have an amazing weekend. I'll tell you what, it's gone a bit, this last hour or so, I'll tell you what, it's gone warm, it's gone sticky. I think we're due for a little bit of a thunderstorm, aren't we I think? I think, yeah. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and let's get it sent.